Okay, here's what we have. We have a circle, um, and we have uh, JK has six units, and we want to find the length of uh, this arc segment, JL. So trying to find the length going around here from J to L. Um, and it tells you the measure of JKL is 144 degrees. Now, 144 is not the length, it's the degree measure. So to find arc length, we're going to start by finding the circumference of the circle. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. In this case, the radius is 6 because this is the radius. You can tell that JK is a radius of the circle. So that's going to give you a circumference of 12 pi. Then to turn that into arc length, you just multiply by the correct proportion. In this case, it's 144 over 360. And time to pull up Desmos. So I can just do 12 pi times 144 over 360. Now the difference between this and what uh, we did on our worksheet is we did want these not in terms of pi but as a decimal. So this one said to the nearest hundredth. Hundred has two zeros, so remember that's two decimal places. So that's 0 0.07 and the nine makes it round up, so that's 15.08. So your answer there should be 15.08. Hopefully that'll help you know how to do an arc length. We'll go ahead and do a sector area. Okay, sector ABC is talking about this little wedge of pie right here. A little slice of pizza, slice of pie looking thing. And they give you the measure of angle ABC is 68 degrees. So that means this arc here is 68 degrees. That's going to come in handy. And then AB is 20, and that's your radius. So sector area, start by finding area of a circle. Area is pi r squared. So pi r squared in this case would be pi times 20 squared, which is 400 pi. And to go from area of the circle to area of just the sector, you got to multiply by the appropriate fraction, in this case 68 over 360, because 360 is a whole circle. Okay, time for Desmos. Here we go, 400 pi times 68 over 360 is 237.36. So 237.36 should be your answer. And that gives you the information that you need to solve this one.